doctors and nurses of Reddit who have delivered babies to mothers who clearly cheated on their husbands, what was that like? Had two women give birth a few days apart on my floor. Turns out they actually had the same baby daddy. The father of the two newborns got both patients pregnant around the same time. It was an interesting day for the social worker. Oh man. A friend of friend got two women pregnant, several months apart. One of the women had complications during the pregnancy and the baby was born very early. On the exact same day the other woman also went into labor. Father has two babies, same date of birth, different mothers. The women knew about one another, one ended up being insane and unfit and bolted. So the other woman is raising both kids. Well. Amazing that the other woman took on both kids. My two patients kept their kids, but only one had restrictions with the father. It was so crazy. She's chill and took it all in stride. There is no way in hell I would have handled that situation with her grace. And lol, only one had restrictions. This world is a crazy place. It is a lovely thing she's done. Thinking about it it isn't the kid's fault, of course. And that child is her child's sibling regardless of drama. Seeing that the health safety stability of the kids is what's most important, it's really wonderful. In high school my gym teacher was married to the biology teacher, who was also really good friends with my math teacher, always saw them chatting and walking together. Well the bio teacher got pregnant and when she brought the baby in there was an unignorable resemblance to the math teacher. Her husband ended up driving to the nearest hospital and shooting himself dead in the parking lot. Was a big scandal at our relatively small private school. One of a few actually. Paramedic here. Had a mother give birth to a healthy baby in a home. Situational awareness had not helped me yet at this point. I asked if the father was here to cut the cord. We paramedics usually shy away from this duty because it opens us up to unwanted legal ramifications should something go wrong, there was a calm in the air after I asked the question and went on to do it myself. Come a few moments later, I was approached by another occupant of the home who informed me that this was a home for victims of sexual assault and that the father of the baby was indeed also though father of the mother and was currently incarcerated due to the aforementioned situation. It was an awkward ride to the hospital after that. Okay I am a nurse but this isn't a story about a birth I witnessed, it was my own birth. And although my mother definitely didn't cheat, all the midwives were convinced she had. And yeah it'll be buried but I think it's a funny story so I'm going to share. For background, my mother, Jay, is white, and had got married young to another white guy, D, actually forced to by my grandparents who were horrified she was living in sin. Their relationship petered out and they separated but remained very good friends. Then she met my father, a, a black man, and began a relationship with him. Mum was still married at the time, neither her nor her husband were in a hurry to get divorced, and he became good friends with mum's new partner, my dad. Mum fell pregnant with me. Time moves along. She goes into labor and needs to head up to the hospital. Dad was working and couldn't make it home in time to get her there, so still being good friends with the husband, she rings him and he comes around to drive her to hospital and decides to hang out until I'm born. After an hour or so dad arrives. He was freaking out a bit so his best friend, H, also a black guy, drove him because dad didn't trust himself. They arrive at the hospital right as mum is ready to deliver. The midwives come out to the waiting room to grab the husband to be there when baby is born. They knew that mom's actual husband, D, had driven her there so assumed that he was the father of the baby. Went and grabbed him and tried to drag him into the delivery room. He freaked out and yelled no no, I'm not the father, I'm just the husband. The father is aboriginal. Dad and H pulled up into the car park as this is happening and dad leaps out of the car. Decides he needs to have a quick smoke to settle his nerves before he goes in. 
His best friend H doesn't smoke cigarettes but does smoke weed and is pretty stoned, so he walks in ahead. Just then the midwives come running back to the waiting room to grab the actual father, and see the only black guy in there. Obviously him right. So they take him and suit him up to bring him down to delivery. Being pretty stoned, H doesn't question this and just goes along with it. The midwives reach the delivery room and shove him inside. Mum, legs in stirrups and at the pushing stage goes absolutely ballistic. Not that black guy, he's not the father, go get the other one. The midwives hustle H out and return him to the waiting room to wait with D. Oh, my dad, has come inside by now and the midwives marched up to him and said something like I hope you're the father this time otherwise I'm going to just give up and she can birth alone. So that's the story about how the hospital went through three different men before they finally got to my actual father. I know a guy who is fully white, his parents are both white and his younger sister is black. I always assumed she was adopted and one day when I mentioned it, he looked at me weirdly and was like no dude that's my full blood sister. Obviously I didn't believe it, and apparently neither did his dad at the birth. But they got the paternity test and she was his daughter, likelihood is they've got some black ancestors far enough back to be forgotten about. I also know a dude who has a white Scottish mum, and a black Jamaican dad. Dude came out pale white with a ginger afro, genetics were not on his side. When you give birth to Napoleon Dynamite. A friend of mine tells the story of his aunt giving birth, in the 1970s or 80s to a baby that at first glance appeared to be of Asian descent. Aunt and her husband are both Caucasian Midwesterners from long lines of the same sort, going back to Germany. There was evidently a shocked moment, and then the aunt's father, my friend's grandfather, quipped, well, they say one in seven babies is born Chinese and everyone laughed. The tension broke, long enough for the doctor, also a white Midwesterner of German stock, said that likely the kid's color is just off due to the events of the birth. That baby is now a man in his 30s or 40s, and looks like your typical Midwesterner, he just had some tinge to his skin for a few hours following the birth, plus some dark hair at birth that has since lightened up. Jaundice. Not a doctor but if I remember correctly, it is due to the baby's immune system going haywire during birth. They put babies under a blue lamp for up to 24 hours to make it go away. Newborn had chlamydia, got it from the mom, obviously. So the mom admits she was cheating on the dad, because there's no other way to explain that one. Except the dad was cheating too, with the other guy's girlfriend, and all four of them had chlamydia, with no idea who had it first. They also had no idea who the actual dad was. That was a radio. Edit, well, that's what I get for editing before bed. Let's be honest, everything we know about chlamydia we learned from teen romacoms. My brother married a half Korean, half white woman who had three girls to the same Mexican guy. The first girl looks Latina. The second girl looks Pacific Islander. The third girl has platinum blonde hair and icy blue eyes. They look nothing alike, and yet if you look at their lineage it all makes sense. I don't know if this ever caused any issues between her and her ex, but I could understand if an eyebrow was raised in the third one. Now she has a fourth girl with my brother and she looks nothing like the other three. Just standard brown hair brown eyed white girl. I know this ain't super relevant to the question but it always entertains me. I have seen quite a few situations where dad turns out not to be dad, but never because of the color of the newborn. I have, however, seen an absolute duck ton of kids who are born and don't look like the same ethnicity as their parents for days or sometimes a couple of weeks. Babies often look darker when they are born. Just saying, some of these anecdotal stories might not necessarily be true. I have seen quite a few situations where dad turns out not to be dad, but never because of the color of the newborn. Go on, grabs popcorn. 
Sometimes we have kids in the NICU for months on end if they are preemies or have congenital conditions. There is a lot of time for family drama and some of the, less classy, families really don't mind if it plays out in public very loudly. There has been more than one occasion where it turns out that the close family friend who visits a lot ends up being dad. We also had one horrible situation where granddad turned out to be dad, as in the maternal granddad. 